I am obsessed with perplexity and I'm going to show you how to use it right now with uh, six easy prompt examples that I have on my other screen here. So first of all, if you want to use perplexity, there is a free version, go to perplexity.ai and make a free account. The user interface looks like this. All of your previous searches will show up on the left here in case you want to revisit any of them, but let's try typing in some of these example prompts that I came up with. All right. So the first one's going to be, I don't want to watch Hack Your Health, The Secrets of Your Gut on Netflix. It's a show on Netflix about gut health, but I want to know what it's about. Summarize this show for me, this documentary for me, and then give me a few actionable steps I can take with my own diet to improve gut health. All right. So when you click enter, Perplexity gives you a couple sources that it uses to give you an actual answer. I love this tool because unlike Google, it answers your question. Now, it's not always correct. You should always double check by going to these resources and, you know, double checking, especially if you're going to use this for work or for a project. Um, if you're just using it for your own research, sure, you don't have to take it with a grain of salt. Um, but here we go. So here's the summary. Here's the key takeaways. And then it gives me these actionable steps that I can take. And it has these little footnotes right here. And it tells you that number one here, it used decider.com to give me this information. So it tells you what its sources are. Okay, let's do another example. So this one is for job searching. So another question you can ask, I'm going to put it down here where it says ask a follow up. So this is completely different. What is the average salary of a data analyst with four years of experience in the medical device industry in Minnesota? That is such a specific question, right? You'd have to do so much research to find an actual answer with this. So let's see what it says. Okay, so it did not contain specific answers, but so it gives me the closest relevant information and it tells me that they got its, it got its information from ZipRecruiter, Indeed, Glassdoor, and Salary.com, which is where I would have looked anyways. Um, so it gives you some answers here. This can help you if you're job searching and somebody's going to ask you the question, what are your salary expectations? All right, let's look at the third example here. We've got three more after this. What is the current unemployment rate and what was it in 2008 in the United States? So usually this would take two Google searches. What is the current unemployment rate? And the next Google search, what was it in 2008? But this just gives it to you straight right here. I love this tool. Um, so it's 3.8 right now. Uh, looks like it was higher in 2008, which is definitely to be expected, but interesting data. Um, I would expect that the Bureau of Labor Statistics would be a source here. It is bls.com. Love that. All right, let's look at another one. So this is also for job searching. Um, if you want to interview at a company and really wow your interviewer, you're going to want to know what the company's mission and values are so that when somebody says, tell me about yourself in an interview, you can tell them that you're also into sustainability, just like the company is. So here's an example. What is JP Morgan Chase's mission and values as a company? All right, so personal integrity, innovation, company goals, providing distinguished and global financial services. So like this is great research to do before an interview. All right, we got two more examples here. And obviously these are not the only things you can ask perplexity. These are just some examples that I came up with, but um, you can also Google what are some example prompts for perplexity to get even more inspiration. All right, so this one's for people who want to buy a car. I'm a product manager and I need a summary. Oh, sorry. No, the next one is about buying a car. Um, okay. So this one is I'm a product manager. This is like for work. Uh, I need a summary of market trends for electric bikes in the U S I'm buying a new sedan. Give me a comparison of safety features. Oh, that's why I'm confused because I mixed the two up. All right, let's do this one first. Okay. So this is like, if you're a product manager at work and you want to do some research, here we go. Gives you uh, some resources you can go look at. Great for work. And then this last one. Oh, <laughs> you can use the one for the car. If you're buying a car, you can look at um, safety and fuel efficiency trends. Let's do that one. Um, I'm buying a new sedan. Give me a comparison of safety and fuel efficiency for 2023 models. Go check out the Legacy, the Outback, the Camry, and the Sonata. Boom. You don't have to go to a dealership. Um, you can just Trust AI instead. Okay, here's the last example here and we'll wrap this up. All right, I have dietary restrictions and fitness goals. So I need a seven day meal plan that is gluten-free and under 2000 calories. Oh, let's see what it comes up with here. You can also tell it what you have in your refrigerator and say, give me 
recipes for dessert that I can make with these seven ingredients. Like, I love this tool. Here we go. Here's a meal plan. Wow. Okay. So as you can see, I love this tool. I use this every day for lots of different reasons. Um, I hope you start using it. Let me know, go back to that newsletter that you got this video from comment. If you're going to start using perplexity or if you've ever used it, tell me like some of the prompts that you've used. And yeah, I'm so excited to be sharing these AI tools with you because they make my life a lot easier and maybe they'll make your life easier too.